Hilti's PMD200 is a layout tool designed to help you lay out your dimension plans, whether those are simple dimension plans or semi-advanced dimension plans that include arcs and radii. To give you perspective on whether or not this is the tool that you might be looking for to help you with your job, let me give you some examples of where people have used the tool and where they've been successful. As you can see here, this is a very typical PDF printout of a dimension plan for a residential foundation home. Any PDF printout dimension plan that you have is a good candidate for the PMD200. As you will see in future videos, what you are going to tell the PMD200 is the location of one of your access lines on the PDF plan, whether that be a wall or a grid line that you're basing your dimensions off of. Once you give the tool one of these lines, you simply are following the dimensions as indicated on the PDF plan. The tool even can work with angles if you have a drawing that doesn't work with just 90 degree angles. In this case, I would be able to lay out this garage, for instance, even though there's an 83 degree angle on the side. Another example of a PDF file with dimensions that might apply is something even as complicated as what you see here, where you have arcs with indications of what the radius is between these arcs to lay out this entire curvature of a plan. Immediately when you open the tool, you're going to see information regarding how you can set up your tool and the information that comes with it. You'll notice that it comes with the tool itself, which auto levels when you turn it on, a target plate that you make your measurements to, your own paper plans, whether they be digital or on paper, and then of course the tablet itself. When you swipe through these, it gives you other instructions, such as the second screen, which recommends you put the tool in the center of your layout area for optimal accuracy. Third, it tells you how to set up the tool when you want to begin which we will review later. But to be brief, what you're going to be giving the tool is a line on your job site that represents a good reference line to lay out the rest of your job that you're going to be pulling dimensions from. The first point is your zero, zero coordinate, and the second point is a direction coordinate that lets the tool know where it's looking at on your job. Fourth, it encourages you to make sure that you have an optimal distance between the first two setup points. And in this case, it's recommending that your setup points the distance between them is at least half the distance of the planned working range. Regarding the tool's measurement range, please keep in mind that the tool is designed only for indoor use or dry conditions. And second, on the website, keep in mind that the maximum operating distance is recommended at 164 feet. Fifth, as you work, it tells you that you need to simply enter your dimensions into the tablet as you work, which we will go into. Sixth, it gives you direction on how to use the target plate, and I would recommend that you just make sure that you are kind of constantly leveling it as you work. And finally, once you're assured that the target plate is level, mark your point on the ground in conjunction where the line is meeting the target plate. On the main screen, you'll see a list of your previous jobs you completed. Of course, you can go to the ellipsis on the right to either delete that layout if you no longer need it, Duplicate it if you intend to make specific adjustments that you only want on a duplicate layout. And of course, edit the details to change any additional information you might need. If you do need to go back into one of these jobs and continue to lay it out, we'll go through this more, but of course you can click on it and reset up the tool to lay it out accurately, which we'll reserve for another video. And also on the screen, you can go ahead and do a new layout to begin a new project, which we'll review in another video as well. As you go through the subsequent videos, I hope that it helps you understand the simplicity of the tool, while at the same time helping you realize how efficient you can be with the layout tool such as this.